She's gonna do a yoga workout. <laughs> so, just got back from the store. Now I'm gonna do a little Pilates workout. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm getting ripped tonight. I'm getting ripped tonight. <laughs> here I don't know okay no I'll just hold it so I am I don't like what I'm doing should I set up a tripod okay so today I went to the store and I got some wine and some desserts and I did my workout like Khalil and I were joking about and now I'm gonna go over to my friend Alexandria's house and I think we're gonna do like kind of an art night which I think will be so fun so we're all gonna bring over like some art supplies and just like make dinner but i'm in kind of a hurry because i had to go to the pharmacy because my period started and i'm in a lot of pain so i had to go get some medicine and i still need to like pack a bag because i might spend the night because there's still a curfew so if uber is not very expensive i'll just come home um, or I'll stay the night and I need to like get all my stuff together. Okay, we are running very late. Um, what do we need? What do we need? I feel like I'm forgetting something. We're gonna take the bus, so it's gonna take a second. But I wanted to do like a longer, less chaotic intro, but this will just have to do. So let's go get on the bus. Drop your right ear down to your right shoulder, feeling a nice stretch through the left side of your neck, and taking this time to tune in to your breath. And exhale, side bend over to your left, stretching through the right side of our body here. And exhale as you close your elbow down towards your left knee. Let's do one more just because this feels so nice for our body.
we're about to head out, but I'm going to get vaccinated and I'm just so excited. I just feel like it's been a long time coming. You know, Khalil and I got COVID in January and it's just like, I don't know. I just think it'll give me such a peace of mind. Like so many of my loved ones are getting vaccinated. My family is almost fully, fully vaccinated. And I think I'm going to, I will be in the U.S. this summer. So I think it's just like kind of a responsible thing to do. And there's just a lot of things this summer that I want to do that I just, I mean, like it's just better to get vaccinated, of course. So we're going to go head out and hopefully I'm kind of banking. It's, it's literally on the opposite side of the city. So it's going to take like an hour to get there. Um, but hopefully I'll, the train will be empty. So I'll explain a little bit more about the vaccine in France on the train. My appointment literally starts in five minutes and it's raining and I forgot to bring an umbrella, but, and we are running. <laughs> okay, so I'm back and I'm going to quickly explain my France vaccine experience. So the address was like completely wrong, but thankfully I ran into two other people outside and we could all see that we were looking for the place. And we were like, are you looking for the vaccine place? Are you? And so we got together and we like found it. It was actually like a street down, so okay. But anyway, so finally got there, go in, whatever. And I go to get my vaccine and the guy is like, he said, oh, have you ever had COVID? And I said, oh yeah, I had it in January because if you've had it within three months, they don't want to give you the vaccine here in, at least here in France. I don't know about the US. And so I um, also, I was being, I was like kind of nervous, like get a shot. I haven't gotten a shot in so long. And I was like, <laughs> and the, so there's the guy giving the shot. And then there was also kind of like another person behind a desk putting in your information. And he was like, okay, also the temps, okay. Like he was like, let's we're, relax. Okay. And I was like, okay, sorry. Yeah, I said, but I never tested positive for COVID. My boyfriend tested positive and then because we were both in quarantine, I got COVID and then we, so we both just like stayed home for the full two weeks, but I lost my taste and my smell and he tested positive. I mean, like, I feel like that's, it's COVID for sure. So this is Pfizer, the vaccine. And he said, oh, okay, well, if you, if you had COVID and you get the vaccine, you don't need to get a second dose. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that's great. Um, it's It was in like a big gym. Like I think it was like a middle school gym maybe. So anyway, so I leave and I sit down because you know, they want you to sit down for 15 minutes and then you can get up and go. And I feel completely fine. Like my arm doesn't even hurt and the shot didn't hurt at all. And it was fine. I get back on the train and I'm like texting people and I'm like, oh yeah, I got vaccinated. And they told me that I don't need a second shot. And everyone is responding to me and they're like, what? Like, I've never heard of that. Like, I don't know. And it just made me so freaked out because I was like, and the I think the issue, the thing about it is that I don't want try to use my vac like use my vaccination paper and then it say, oh, but you don't have two doses, so you can't use your vaccine as like a way to like get on a plane or um, like if there's events or something we need vaccines for, then I don't know. So long story short, I've been talking to people and I was like, I don't think it would hurt me to get the second dose. I don't know. I'm going to try to do some more research, but it just made me super bummed because I, I, I don't know why. I think I was just frustrated about the situation. And I was frustrated about like, and some, some of my friends who have had COVID have gotten vaccinated and no one said that to them, but maybe they just, just didn't ask if they had COVID. I don't know. I'm so confused, but, but I am very grateful and super happy to have gotten the vaccine and i'm just excited to like but that's one of the that's like one of the reasons though is i just i was hoping that with this vaccine like i won't have to keep taking covid tests like if i want to go to the us this summer i don't know what i'm gonna do and he can't and also the guy like he canceled my second appointment to get the vaccine so and i don't know now if it's like in the system like i shouldn't get the second one I don't know, so we'll we'll see what happens, but um, I don't know. Also, the other reason why today is a very exciting day is that terraces have opened in, I think it's everywhere in France, but, but in Paris, so outside dining is back, baby. I wanted to maybe go somewhere today, but I was just worried about how I would feel after the vaccine. I feel completely fine, like I feel absolutely nothing. I did, like my arm doesn't even hurt, but 
the day is still young, so we'll see. It's been months since I've been to a restaurant or like anything in Paris, so. So what I'm doing now is I'm doing some priority hours for Cambly, which I've talked about many times on this channel, my online tutoring that I'm doing for extra money. And I'm doing two priority hours. And then apparently also curfew has been lifted until 9 p.m. Very exciting. So tonight I need to go to the store at like 7. And maybe when Khalil comes home from the gym, we'll go on like a little walk. Because that's been one of the hardest parts about the curfew is like I just love to do like an evening walk. And the curfew was at 6 p.m. for like months. And now it's at 7 p.m. It's been at 7 p.m. for a long time. And it just like, I don't know, it just feels very restricting. So um, I'm excited that that's over. And... Still update, it's now like 5.56, almost 6 p.m. Still feeling good, five hours, no, like four hours later after my vaccine. So, yeah. Happy Thursday. My morning run slash walk, because it's not really feeling it, is done. I'm um, just listening to some podcasts. So I was gonna go into Paris today because the terraces are open and I wanna take advantage of it, whatever, but I have an interview tomorrow and I still need to send her some documents. And I don't know, I was like, I'm doing some tutoring hours later and I just felt like I was in a time crunch. So I was like, you know what? I'll just maybe go tomorrow after my interview. Maybe we can have like a little drink. Um, so yeah, so that's Thursday morning so far. What else is on the, the agenda? I don't know, it was so weird when I went for my run earlier, I just, I feel like I didn't realize how nice it was to run when there's not people on the sidewalks. Like I, I'm really not someone who cares about people like watching, like I do care, but I'm not someone that's like super concerned about people like perceiving me while I run sometimes, but it's just so weird now that all the terraces are open. So there's like people, a lot of people on the sidewalks and some of the tables, kind of like obscure the sidewalk completely so you can't run through it. So I had to like detour a little bit. I know this is very fascinating stuff, um, but it's just so weird. Like I, I just think I wasn't ready for like how that would feel to be like running around people again. I don't know, sometimes it's a little bit, I know I'm sure everyone has felt this, like especially if you're a woman running. Um, like I've had an instance where like these guys tried to talk to me while I was walking by, I was like trying to run by them and they like touched, they grabbed my arm and were like, oh, I, like, you know, just like icky. And so now I feel like now that I'm seeing all these people out again, it just like reminds me of that. I'd like change my route. And this is definitely a very like transitional time for me. I finished my contract, my teaching contract. And it's super nice because my titre de ce jour is until next February. It's super great because that gives me a lot of leeway as far as like finding a job or doing a master's like I just I have some time this summer to kind of figure out my next move because initially I my visa was only until April 26th so I was like well shit I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to leave I don't know what I'm gonna do with Khalil so this definitely gives me a lot more leeway but it's definitely a very transitional time and it's like just like stressful trying to figure all that out and like trying to figure out what I want to do. But so that's pretty much the Thursday update. Just going to do some work, hopefully do some writing maybe, I don't know. And just get my shit together and then tomorrow hopefully the interview will go well. But I'm not going to stress about it and I feel like this is something that I've talked about in my like tips for learning a language because like I'm definitely not perfect in French. I hope it didn't make it come off that way in that video, but I'm like obviously still learning French and but I feel like a lot of times I'll get in my own head like, oh, I'm not that good. And then I'll start to like doubt myself where it's like, no, 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 like just relax. And I'm just gonna like do my best and I know that I can communicate. So I'm just gonna go with it. And I don't know, I kind of felt this way whenever I would take my French exams, like my finals, I always felt like, yes, I would kind of study, but at the same time, it's something that you learn over a period of time. So it's like, you either know it or you don't. So I'm not gonna like stress myself out about the French aspect of it and like be like, oh my God, and wig myself out. 
I'm just gonna do the best I can, which is kind of like what my motto of the moment is. It's just like trying to do the best I can. That's the tea, guys. Thank you for listening to me in this little confessional. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog it all the rest of the day because I'm just gonna be on my computer. But yes, thank you for coming to my TED Talk and I'll probably see you tomorrow. Also, I made another coffee. I keep saying I'm gonna cut back. I will eventually, but I think for me, it's like, it's it's the like the fixation of like, oh, I'm gonna sit down and work, so I'm gonna make myself a coffee and do that. I don't know, but I, I probably should cut back, but just so hard, you know? Okay, so hopefully my computer is not being too loud, but so I just had an interview for a master's and I actually got into the program and I'm kind of, I'm just like in shock because I didn't expect to hear something so soon. And it just like, it came about because I asked for some information and they asked me if I wanted to interview. I was like, sure. So I don't know if I'm gonna talk about like, I don't really wanna talk about what it is or you know, more information about it, but I am really excited. Of course, I was really nervous for the interview but yeah it's in paris and yeah so also the reason why today is going to be super exciting is because so normally on fridays i tutor at 5 p.m and so i was like okay well i'll just like go out and maybe like do some stuff today and like kind of enjoy because it's actually like not rainy today but it's canceled so i thought we could go out and kind of have like a little bit of a day and just like enjoy paris and celebrate a little bit i might like go get a drink because my tutoring is canceled and i'm really excited and i don't know i just like don't know how to feel i'm just like kind of in shock and let's go have a day this is all i'll show of you gonna go straight to Jardin Luxembourg but I decided to stop off by Saint Michel so that way I could stop and get one of my favorite treats um I am gonna go get a donut <laughs> and then I might go to Shakespeare and Co just to look we don't need any more books we're just gonna look for the ambiance I really have no plan today along the Seine. No plans still. I just talked to my parents on the phone. I was gonna wait to get a drink but honestly if I stop by a place with an Abbey Spritz we're getting one. <laughs> have to hustle but i'm kind of hungry so i think i'm gonna go get a pain au chocolat what else is new 
this is what I love though. I don't know if there's just something that feels super luxurious about being able to like stop and get a beautiful pastry in the morning, especially when I'm a little tired. I had like, th oh my God, there's a cat. <laughs> um, I had like three Aperol spritz last night with my friend Hannah and her coworkers. Anyway, I had a coffee and a banana this morning, but still a little hungry. A lot of hills around here. I think I'm gonna ride my bike to a second tutoring, so fuel. This one is so good. I can like perfectly taste. Oh! <laughs> Just a giant piece of plastic. I can like perfectly taste the butter. Ooh, I also, I said I was gonna ride my bike, but the weather does not look permitting. So we'll see. Also, how beautiful is this like random walkway? I always feel like the, the main character when I walk down here. <laughs> Evening. So, what am I doing? So, it's Saturday evening. I did my tutoring and I was so tired today. I think it's because so last night I got home and so, okay, so last night I went and I had drinks on the terrace with my friend Hannah and some of her colleagues and it was so fun. Like, they were just very, very nice and I don't know, it was just really fun to talk to them and they were all French. So that's always fun to like. I don't know, just talk to him about French stuff. <laughs> and then Khalil and I watched Army of the Dead on Netflix. I thought it was a certified two out of five. Like I thought it was kind of bad. I just didn't like the, I thought the the story was bad. The, I, I really didn't like the cinematography, which like I actually really like Zack Snyder. Like Khalil and I loved the Snyder cut and I don't know, I won't get into it, but basically, so I was, so I went, so I went to tutoring today. My arm's getting tired. I'm like, can I set it here? So, does this look bad? We're not sure. So I went to tutoring today and did both my lessons and I was so tired after. And I just like watched Ugly Betty all afternoon, went to the store. And now I'm like uploading some files for this video videoception and i'm listening to the new lord huron huron album which is so beautiful like the music the lyrics is just like gorgeous and i'm doing a little painting i just like doodle and stuff so i'll show you i am like definitely not picasso so i'll show you what i'm working on oh so i started off with these little boys with kind of like jewel tones and that's what i love about watercolors is they just kind of take on their own personality and then over here I did some warmer tones and then here I was trying to do some freehand and it's just not as cute. breakfast that's the that's the sunday morning routine